Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. So Libra, in the recent past we got judgment and we have the Empress. Now judgment, it can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are, that are made too hastily. If you were prone to doing such things in the recent past, it would have been a clear signal to slow down, give things more thought, people more chances. It's also a time of spiritual awakening. That's a possibility. So judgment is with Empress. Now the Empress, just know that the Empress is one that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this doesn't mean that she'll always get away, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's also about coming abundance, but you would you would not have wanted to make the mistake of thinking that that would always mean financially, because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But as the empress, you would have been able to encompass any or all of them. So, Libra, in the recent past, judgment and empress with these two cards paired together, it looks like. You could have been dealing with someone who was very judgmental about you or towards you or maybe this person didn't offer a lot of forgiveness. You were in a relationship or you, like I said, you were dealing with someone who jumped to a lot of conclusions, but this person had a lot of attraction for you. He had a lot of mojo. They um, found you very handsome or really beautiful. Because the Empress is also about a time when you could have found men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive for friendship and for romance. So you had a lot of power with this person. This person, you had a lot of pull. and They had, they had a lot of attraction for you. But there wasn't enough forgiveness and... Um, Offering reconciliation, possibly with the judgment card there. It's about um, reconciling or redemption. There wasn't enough forgiveness in the connection. But there was a, a lot of mojo that this person had for you in the recent past. So, I don't know if you moved on or if you're still with this person. But, um, yeah. Uh, it was a make or break period, put it that way. Um, but the person may had a lot of attraction for you, a whole lot. Now, that's the recent past. Let's move on over and see what we got coming up for this month, the present time. Queen of Wands and Lover's Card. Now, the Queen of Wands, it refers to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could be you, Libra. Now, when it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a lot accomplished. They'll be focused on work or career. The queen is really positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's a really good friend who is 100% solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. If you're trying to be conceived and you get this card, it's one of the more positive signs that there can be. So the Queen of Wands is paired with the Lover's card, which is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the Twins. It's possible that when you get this card, you're, you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now, the, the thing to do is within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that we follow or operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. Now, when you get the lover's card, it's showing and it's saying it's safe to choose love. It's a time when it's likely to bring love and big, bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this will be either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really happy. So, Libra, for the present time for this month, September, lovers and queen of wands, so you could be very determined about someone, very determined, or someone could be very determined about you. It may still be the same person from the recent past 
who had a lot of attraction for you. Could be, because the recent past, it actually means last week. It could be, it could have been a month ago, three, three months ago, six months ago, or more. Someone's very determined about you. They see you as a, a very powerful love. This person could be falling in love with you. Because that's what the lover's card is about. Falling in love. It's a coming together. It's a union. Like I said, this lover's card is associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. Could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Yeah. Whatever this is, they are very adamant about you. This person um, is um, could be really egotistical, used to getting what they want. Very confident type who knows their worth. But I'm picking up it's the person you're dealing with, Libra. Someone's very determined about you, this connection. And they, this person could be falling in love with you. Or they just realize that you're a soulmate or a twin flame. Strong connection that this person has about you and a lot of attraction. So that's what we got. For September but let's see what the challenge could be now we got this ace of Pentacles and the page of wands the ace of Pentacles is about finding yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels now these are very positive new beginnings it could be um, having you feel really optimistic upbeat really hopeful about the future things will be going well you could be starting something new very soon and this could be in the realm of work or personally but Either way, it's going to be a really good thing. I don't know if you can see the picture really clearly of the, the Ace of Pentacles, the card above the word challenge. It's a, a really cute card. You've got this huge pinnacle. It's, it looks like it's sitting in the forest, maybe a park with a lot of trees. And it looks like it could have rained for maybe a few days nonstop or maybe a day or two nonstop. And then you got this cute little squirrel who came out of, from hiding from the rain. And he's at amaze. He's amazed. Like, wow. Finally, the rain has stopped. A new day. There's a new day that's ready for the squirrel. He's trying to figure out, um, why should I run to the, to the right and make some new, fresh footprints, paw prints, should I run to the left to make some new prints? Or should I run up the pinnacle? Or maybe I should just run right into the camera. So it's all about a new day. Fresh new start. Yeah, that's beautiful, the Ace of Pinnacles. Now it's paired with the uh, Page of Wands, which Page of Wands are usually high achievers. Um, very ambitious type, warm friendly but they have this energy of easy distraction so it, it's not easy for this page of wands to stay focused yeah so it could be that some things you started some time ago they're starting to come to fruition it's also showing a need for new things new adventures new approaches new ideas the page brings a really positive energy but with this type of energy you have to supply the follow-through so Page of Wands is someone that has a lot of passion about something or someone and they're sending messages, messages of love and affection. So you got someone wanting to reach out to you and uh, be very affectionate towards you. Uh, this person has a lot of passion for you, but they're a page. Now, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, a student, or someone that could be immature. Yeah, this person, they want a new beginning with you. So, they see you as someone that they have a lot of passion for. It could be the same person that uh, sees you as a soulmate or a twin flame, this lover's card that we talked about. And uh, they'll be very determined about you. But uh, I'm picking up that you might see this person as a bit immature. It could be a second person. It may be someone different from this lover's card. 
Yeah, you could have someone new that's coming in, even though you've got a soulmate here that you're dealing with. You could have someone new, this page of wands, coming, coming at you. And they want to be with you. they got a lot of passion for you. They want to start a new beginning with you. Yeah. Yeah, and if it's not, if it's not a love interest, which I'm, it has to be, it, for, for most of you it's a love interest. If it's not, it could be a family member or a friend. Because I'm picking up a couple of people here. This page of wands is someone different from this lovers, this soulmate or twin flame that is very determined about you. So you got someone else that's got a lot of passion for you and they want a new beginning with you, a fresh new start. Like I said, this page of wands could be a family member, but this lover's card is a love interest. It's a beautiful thing, this lover's card. So that's the challenge. And like I said, you might find this person a bit immature. Or they could just be a lot younger than you. So let's see what the outcome is. We got this seven of swords, and we got the ten of wands. Now the seven of swords, it's about... Someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is stalking you, spying on you, or prying in on you, then you, you could be right. Yeah, and, or if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child, you may want to think twice. Because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Okay? So that's the Seven of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands, if you can see this picture... Ten of Wands is the card that's below the word outcome. This man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. Um, so it's about feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there's any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that the burden that you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's important for you to pace yourself at this time and try not to take on too much so Libra this page of wands I don't know who this is like I said it could be a new love interest uh, they could see that you you're already with someone but they still want a new beginning with you somebody has a lot of passion for you other than this soulmate and somebody that just wants to They'll be reaching out to you, trying to communicate. You find them immature or just maybe too young for you. They want a new beginning with you. So they do a lot of watching and stalking you. So they keep tabs on you. Um, but you might find that uh, it, it, it turns out to be that they're too much of a burden. Yeah, so that's interesting. You've got someone... You got a soulmate or a twin flame that's very determined about you. Then you got this other person who's trying to message you, text you, be with you. They want a new start with you. For some of you, it's a family member, it's a friend. Uh, they keep tabs on you, they watch you. Could be a love interest, a second love interest. But you find that they're a burden. Yeah, it's, it's too difficult to be with this person. Could be someone that you're already with. And then you got this great love that's coming in. So you got to be torn between two. Not really torn because I'm picking up you. You're not really feeling this page of wands because uh, they might be a little bit immature. and it, it, it may just be too difficult to juggle two. So that's why you got the ten of wands here. Something really difficult. And this person, they, they stalk you. They keep tabs on you. Yeah, that's the outcome. For most of you, the person that's watching you or keeping tabs on you, it's this page of wands that wants a new beginning with you. But for some of you, it could be the soulmate or twin flame. Yeah, they know that, they probably know that you got another love interest. So they, they keep tabs on you. So it could go either way. It could be this person that's younger than you, or it could be your soulmate that uh, does a lot of keeping tabs on you. Because this soulmate, our twin flame, is very determined 
uh, about you and the connection. The connection. The connection.